Yes, lend me your ears. Long has our Fevremont suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> shall have my eternal yeah, fealty. Your no Majesty, oh, how long I have waited this moment. It's the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thy arms and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Aha! I thought I recognized you.
I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. To move on! Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. Let's get used to it. Lord, uh, you are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. is quite cluttered. Job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate.
Berserker throws Kirby, and the track of the situation demands. for welcome protection from attacks. Boulders, barrels and the like can make effective weapons for the clever combatants. You! Get back here! This way or is it? Come this way. Let us flee. Survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Keep your distance, Terrence. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you are truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next, and now you stand before me. Was it you, then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. Certainly not like that here in Vermont. But you were held in the neighboring country of the Tar. Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from the Tal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Find your strength now. Buy the curative or have a bit of green one. When one of the things comes, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Take use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Have you beheld the dragon at least? I not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that it's a beast. No it is no mean feat, to be sure, but that's the sovereign's duty, isn't it? When the dragon rears its ugly head, the sovereign appears among the people and steps forth to challenge it. I dare say Vermin owes much of its prosperity to the sovereigns who have served it over time. Though, personally, I'm just glad to know we've got someone looking out for us. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rifter. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you.
Pawns are known as crosses of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey, Arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and aught I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fate's chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Going out, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. You ought at least rest for the evening. 
There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. Looks as good a place as any. A treasure chest! Hoi there! You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Long awaited. I knew twas only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. There's no discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. Hail! Hey you a soldier? Twould be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new rec Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way, then? Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. And Ocado's as well, I'm sure. We must fly to the aid of those in need. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. There I say it, we trounced our foe well and true. Thank you. 
Is that all of them? You, you have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I, I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Shall we report our results? This is generally used as a material. Find place to harvest some ingredients. <clears throat> it was well worth the effort of breaking it. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Twas a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. Ha! <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience.
that's in it. We're running low on everything. From provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. Oh, we've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the roads of late. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock and... I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'll be paid, of course. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. Hand him the note, and he'll take care of the rest. I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. I'll gather this. It might be of use. That's everything assembled. A job well done if I do say so myself. Oi! Did you need something? This is from Sir Geoffrey, is it? Let's have a look then. He wants these as well, does he? I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as tis. Say, your arms look free. You can handle that list in my stead. And make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. You know what to do. Whence might we procure such a thing?
fast arisen. I will be with you in but a moment. Putting that aside, we've not counted a thief among our number for some time. I'll take that. We might find a use for it.
Our results are awaited. What say we make our report? How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. Many thanks for passing on that list to Marcus for me. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Anyway, you've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again should the need arise. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. as tired as I am. Right. I mustn't let the captain see my knees. 
Such trouble I've caused for you arisen. I am sorry. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime. Getting proper rest is an important duty in its own right. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Off we go, then. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. We've a choice of where to go, but how to know the path best traveled? Do we decide based on our experience? or trust to our instincts. So this is Melv. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. is most unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate.
Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on and by some miracle survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated. Though I fear you have no memory of this either. I am of the Border Watch. Someone with arisen like abilities came to this village poorly in tow. Know you all to this? Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then. Take care. Where is it? Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. A simple conversation oft reveals what a week of searching never could. Oh, have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no, I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? I suppose there's naught else to be done but make for home. I'll browse the shops before I leave. See if I can't find aught else to take back with me. What I do? Really ought to have time I for. Well, Matt, you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? 
She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Always a pleasure. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations... Very well. There is no wrong choice. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray...
Here at the inn, we also get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need some? Thing? Do come again. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. Let us examine the area carefully. There may well be a clue nearby. Returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Good. Then let us be on our way. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Early Griffin gets the world, as they say. I cannot fault your prowess. Perhaps you might try to find yourself. Splendid. Combined might is beyond any foe. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with. It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Another statue. Mayhap will yield us aught of use. What say we mark it in our minds as a place of interest?
Hold here a moment. I shall fit them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. Tis uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet tis nowhere in sight. Aught may have befallen it. Best we press on. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but would some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat? One such a wizard dismissed me after only half a day of service. Fascinating. We've got goblins! Portion wouldn't work, this. We ought not let it haunt us in our doors. Excellent. Just what I was hoping for. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead.
We are to retreat then. This is generally used as a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. On another note, we've not counted a thief among our number for some time. We've no need of a thief if we are content to overwhelm our foes. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. Taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch. And I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. Tis your decision. Well now. The road's blocked. The cart can't get through like this. A powerful current ought to set this rock to crumbling, if we could summon one. Not to be water here. I have an ill feeling about this.
An ox cart ought to make... Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. I'll take that. We might find a use for it. There's aught to be found there. Can you not see it? We ought to take a closer look. Looking around, it strikes me that we pawns are all men. I wonder if this speaks to the Arisen's reference. It is surely a coincidence. Don't make such a fuss. 